Hello everyone, and today we will continue our lessons, uh, series of the lessons, how to create your own project from zero to the end. Uh, we will start again how to open our project, and this is tutorial will be mostly about the walls. Of course, we also need to, we also should create um, columns and curtain walls, but we will start from the walls. Uh, by the way, I already uh, put some of the columns. Uh, uh, First, going to the project, Revit, project, spiral house, don't forget checkbox, okay, overwrite, in we inside on the project. I will do that every lesson and I think this is a good way to learn you, teach you, sorry guys. Okay, we are here, as you see I already put the some columns, so uh, as an example, for example, you have the square building. Let's put some some grids here. You have the square building and let's say like this. And you need the columns. Let's go to the columns. I already uh, loaded inside the columns. I will give you also these columns. You can download it. Uh, below this video you will find the, some links. Uh, let's say I need this column. And if I will put like this, uh, like uh, to touch these uh, two grids, uh, he will, uh, how to say it, lock it. But now we get the warning, uh, sorry, I cannot see this column on level one. You know why? Because the height of our, let's, let's do again. Because uh, my column start not from level one. Let's say, let's see. Uh, unconnected, no, we need from the first, oh, to the second floor, sorry, to the second floor, heights, second floor, like this, and now we can put, and here we are, now if I will choose uh, my column, you can see here the checkbox, moving with grids. This means if I will move this grid, my columns move too. If I will move this one grid, my columns also move. That's why I said this is a lock, uh, locking with grids. So let's delete these grids. And as you see here, it also will go with the grids. So we need only connect our, like this, you can see. I have here column, but don't have any grids. So let's connect this column to this grids. Why we need that? I want to control my column and my grids. This uh, will be nice and so useful. But I don't like, as you know, I don't like numbers like this, like 1754 and maybe your teacher, your boss, your client also will hate these numbers. Let's make um, 1754. 750 even this better because uh, with these numbers is the calculate yes it's like something like that okay today about uh, walls let's start create some walls and what next we need some walls let's go to the wall wall and we need some walls let's make uh, inside it's not doesn't ma matter because uh, inside we're using actually 150 uh, between rooms and uh, between structure it's uh, from 250 to 4 or 500. We will use average number because now it's not about uh, uh, how to create right by architecture. This is how to use it by Revit. This is most important now. Yes, of course, in the next uh, project uh, I will try to make correct in both sides, if you want, guys. Let's go use 250 and let's start. So, let's start between this. Yes, the first thing you can see, uh, now I'm drawing from the left side. I don't like it for, for now. Or, no, it's okay. For this, let's, let's draw by from the left side and from this one by uh, sp uh, space bar if i will use the space bar i can choose uh, the direction of my wall 
and as you see here I don't like that one let's let's make correct this one move and move like this and as you see it's not connected uh, this is bad actually we'll go to modify here we, we have the trim extend we use we choose the end point and what we need put the uh, push to the end point this one done now it's connected but as you see I didn't choose any um, uh, any height or connecting to this wall so this wrong actually uh, let's choose these two walls here the uncon unconnected height wrong uh, top constraint unconnected let's choose the level 2 done because we are we are know this is still level 2 so now if we will choose the level uh, this one generic wall uh, we need change here to to the level 2 now we can draw our wall let's draw till here no worries uh, draw how you how you can we can uh, after that I mean uh, how you feel it after that we can make it more clear for example now I, I don't do, do not connect it why because I can use common trim or I can go to modify and find it here trim and I can connect like this so uh, that's why you should know the shortcuts or sh I mean the uh, hotkeys for example trim again I can I can use again trim here to this to this done and I'm sure this is uh, going to right way I no need think about it again going to the wall wall here and as you see I did wrong because it's not from the middle for how to do it from the middle choose the uh, your wall and not from finish from the core center line now it's right like this and what else I need I need here now again let's change to the finish face exterior let's draw it till here We will make some touches after now we need just draw our walls because this is spent so much times normal architecture doing it's like a uh, few months now I'm not kidding because uh, when you make some changes when engineer giving some comments uh, it's taking few months it's not just uh, one week or something like that yes if building already um, under construction or already finished that's why it's will give will take some not a lot of time uh, okay we need here the big wall how we can do that actually easy we will go to component here made in place mm, uh, model in place and here we will find wall here okay walls let's make like uh, uh, I don't know DIY for example one because we will have some few few type of these walls and let's do it we need extrusion we need the lines I know this line going like this this line going like this here will be column here we will, here we will put the some column like this and here I will use this one again common trim here like this and extrusion level let's give the parameter extrusion okay here yeah, okay extrusion extrusion instance okay okay done and let's place it okay now we need the material structural material and okay 
let's go now and now in 3d where is our uh -huh, here as you see and we need to make some extrude let's do it from this one to this done here is our new wall let's go back uh, for ch changing the mm, windows like this I'm using command control tab as you see I can uh, switching between one and second window and let's connect our wall to here like this okay nice of course we also can edit profile of this wall but uh, this way more easy for us for now because it's not um, it's not construct uh, or to engineer because if it's for engineer we should draw wall here wall here wall here because inside it will be empty uh, there will be some shafts so that's why it's like this it's working like this okay we did uh, these walls uh, let's do these walls too we need uh, again walls generic let's create it by top I not will oh, okay I will do that <laughs> from this side like this from this side this wall this wall here already and here I can connect them and if I will do like this this is will be wrong so for this one i will use different wall in uh, this part for in this part i will use uh, 450 like this and here for example i want to put here uh, ah we will use like this and one more wall here done if I will select everything and we'll choose this section section box like this we can see we already done with level one not already done I mean uh, under under finish so we will do that uh, as you see the here texture like this going in this side this means uh, our wall and our column unconnected. Let's join it. Join this column and this wall. Done. But uh, please use join command when you are already sure you no need to move your wall or your uh, column. Because uh, if now if I will move the column or the wall, let's move the wall. I will get the um, warning message so uh, do it only when you're already sure you not will move it it's not it's not a problem because you can say here unjoin elements but if you have so much um, uh, join elements and you need to move it uh, it will make trouble for you don't do it if you're not sure you will connect it after that or no okay so uh, actually guys uh, I will continue to create uh, walls uh, already uh, not in the video I mean I will do it in the backstage and uh, after that uh, I will come back with that and we will continue with um, uh, curtain wall so this is like a fast tutorial how to create uh, walls uh, how you can uh, construct uh, connect it to the to the levels and yes don't do walls uh, from the level one to level three or four don't do that never because uh, this is very bad practice I saw only one times when company really using this uh, method but uh, on the other way everyone using the groups groups by levels I will show you why and we will do that and you will understand okay thank you guys for watching and uh, we will continue the next time